So let's hit this up. Hello and welcome back to the Commentary Shit Show. I've been in commentary for a long time now, but I don't think I've ever seen somebody's career self-destruct as hard as John Swan's. I don't know what it is with Bird. Is that a Linkin Park instrumental in the background? Nice. Oh, let's see. Uh, I just got messaged by Bo Blacks. All right, Bo Blacks, if you're watching, I'll I'll tell you uh, later. Oh, let me check stream elements. Okay, we're good there. Why is that muted? Don't have that muted. All right, let's hit this. YouTubers, but they're really starting to get on my nerves. And that's why I only tolerate one bird on YouTube, and that bird is Scent Bird. Scent Bird is a free- Ah, <laughs> Bro, Scent Bird? Hey, uh, Sandwich Man, yeah, you getting- Dude, Sandwich Man is sitting here in his chair, having a fucking seizure. He's just sitting here like, uh, 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 uh. That's Sandwich Man right now. Bruh. Scent Bird? Nice one, Willy. Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, John Swan self-destruct. Had a, I had a good take. I had a good take. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, this John Swan coping clip right here where he's just sitting here like, Dude! Dude, I had a good take, bro! I had a good take, man! <laughs> it's so funny. He's like sitting there like desperate. He's like, Dude, how? How could you not believe me? Gee, I wonder why. Now. Sweet dreams are made of ease. Who am I to disagree? You might know John Swan as the guy who lied to Dream and blamed it on his 12-year-old autistic cousin that doesn't exist. Probably the most insane part of that drama was him reaching out to Bo Blacks, a YouTuber who openly talks about his autism, to try and get him to validate John's fake story. John talked with me in- <laughs> Dude, I forgot about this. He tried to, like, milk Bo Blacks' autistic titties. <laughs> he tried to like be like, hey, full flax, how do uh, retards act like? How, how do retards do shit? And then Bobak's like, well, you know, autistic people have a very complex way of looking at the world. And then he just goes on for like an hour. And John's like, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, 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 uh huh, uh. He's taking notes like a fucking retard. And he's just like sitting here crafting this narrative in his head. And he's like, okay, then I'll get into call with Augie and Nick and I'll tell them that this fucking cousin of mine, like that's. I just imagining this in my head is just insane to me. Depth explaining how the 12 year old using his discord was autistic and exploited my knowledge of autism to craft a false narrative. I hate that I was used for that. He was saying stuff like that's what an autistic person would do, right? They know a lot about- <laughs> Hey Bublox, you're retarded, right? Wouldn't a retard uh, do this completely fucking stupid thing? W wouldn't they do that? Bublox's like, well, I wouldn't say that, but technology but not social stuff let me remind you this escalated to that level because john decided to troll a 15 year old named harley by pretending to be dream to be honest i really don't care that john lied about dude the funny part is is everyone is like damn john was such a dick to harley but harley was kind of an asshole back then not like an asshole that's like the wrong word to say but that dude was just fucking starving for clout and to be fair he did kind of you know, put his ass in a gear and, you know, produce some content and actually built a fan base for himself. And eventually he earned it, right? But, uh, back then, bro, no offense. Like, if Harley's listening to this right now, I can't lie, bro. I'm just being honest, bro. Like, back then, everyone did kind of, like, look at you as, like, a total cloud chaser, like, cloud whore. Like, uh, Harley's just, just so fucking hungry for cloud. But, I mean, we all are to some extent. I don't know if it matters that much. It's just funny to me. Dream. If anything, it's an interesting lesson on how a small lie can spiral out of control. What I do care about is his continuous malicious behavior, specifically when involving minors. One year ago, I made a video criticizing John for his treatment towards Pie Man, a 15-year-old YouTuber who struggled a bit with social issues. Most, if not all my, you know, close friends are, um, people online. John <laughs> oh, man. I decided to call a 15 year old a pedophile because he was flirting with a girl three years younger than him. He was blasting him on Twitter writing, how can you control that? Step one, remove yourself from the internet to ensure that you won't fall guilty to the- Why does John so- <laughs> Why does John know so much about what to do if you have pedophilic thoughts? You know what I mean? Like he's sitting here like, all right, well, what you do in this situation is first you remove yourself from a situation where you could touch a- Okay, Jesus to the same urges again. Remember, you were being turned on by a literal child. Step two is get some kind of therapy or help. That's something I want to hear. Just remember, guys, you're getting turned on by a literal child.
Because this can't go on, dude. Pie Man was 15. They're both children. John then goes on Pie Man's live stream to guilt the 15 year old into thinking he did something criminal. Well, I, I thought it wouldn't get leaked because I could. I, well, I wanted it to not get leaked because I could tell. Wow. Out of context, yes, of course. it looks I really bad. I wouldn't want that to get leaked either, Pie Man. Because that's really incriminating. Can you imagine? John Swan sounds like he's like mid stroke, like he's like literally like about to nut at how good of a pedophile 15 year old story he's got. He's like, oh, we got him. He's freaking out on live stream. Oh my God. He can like barely contain like how happy he is in his voice. Like when he's sitting here talking to him, he's just sitting here like, oh, uh, but uh, like, listen to him. Well, I, I thought it wouldn't get leaked because I could, I, well, I wanted it to not get leaked because I could tell wow. out of context. Yes, of course. It looks I really bad. I wouldn't want that to get leaked either, Pie Man. I wouldn't want him to get him leaked either, Pie Man. Like, he sounds like he's jittery almost, you know? Dude, that's really incriminating. Can you Jesus, that was loud. Oh, I forgot my speakers were all Anonymous funded all $3. Is it a hot take to say Pie Man deserved everything that happened to him? I mean, yeah. I mean, the kid literally got fucking ruined and slandered as a pedophile because, you know... All you want, like, he was just talking to some girl that was, like, three years younger than him, and he's a 15-year-old. I would say that that's wrong. You know, he's definitely weird. And potentially a liability to himself, but, uh, I don't know if he's necessarily a bad person. Or, well, she, I guess, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Imagine being a teenager and your cringy, flirty messages leak online only for your favorite YouTuber to pick it up and start going on a rampage about how you're a pedo. Now, I gave John multiple chances to fix this. First, I DM'd him, which he responded, I stand by that 100%. I then made- Damn, dude. John put his fucking cock on the table and was like, measure up, bitch. <laughs> he was like, I stand by it all. Oh, he could have just at that moment said, you know what, dude? You're right. Let me just fucking chill out here for a second. But he didn't. And now he's just completely just destroyed. He responded, I stand by that 100%. I then made a Twitter <laughs> thread giving him another chance to correct his mistake where he proudly claimed him and Pie Man worked it out. When in reality, his apology to Pie Man wasn't that genuine. What'd he tell you? Well, honestly, it wasn't really much of an apology. He told me, uh, sorry if I offended you. When I called you a pedophile? Apology. It was when he said, oh, can I post that we've worked things out on Twitter? And I said, sure. Um, I expected him to say something like, oh, me and Pie Man talked and we sort of worked things out between us. But then he said, oh, I apologize to Pie Man and we're all good now and stuff. And I thought, well, saying that you apologized isn't really, um, isn't really a fair claim to make. We never apologized for most of the stuff. He just posted on Twitter that he did. Now, I was really hard on John for all <laughs> that this. That sounds like a John Swan apology, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you know how I know that? Uh, how many guys, how many of y'all think in the chat if John has apologized to me yet for lying to me about, you know, his involvement in the Cami allegation? Do you guys think that uh, John was like, hey, man, my bad. Got ahead of myself again, you know? I have a problem, bro. You think you said that? Of course not. I don't think there's a single person in this chat right now saying yes. There's not, no, at this point, nobody could possibly delude themselves. Okay, you fucking retard, dumpy. Kill yourself. Uh, anyway, so. <laughs> All right, but, but here's the deal, right? I called John the day after. Sorry. No, no, a few days after. A few days after the John, or sorry, a few days after the Destiny stream, I called John Swan, okay? And I was like, all right, here's the deal, dude. I think you were involved in a malicious campaign against Cammy, and I think you're lying about how much your involvement was in the situation and in the document itself. That's what I told him. And he said, well, Augie, you're wrong on those two things. And he told me, first of all, to address, you know, oh, I hated, you know, uh, Cammy and just wanted to ruin him. To prove that that wasn't the case, he told me that he sent me like a DM that was like him like a month ago where somebody was like, hey, what do you think of Cammy? And John responded where he was basically just saying like, oh, you know, I think he's a little bit uh, retarded and stuff and a little annoying, but he's not a bad guy. So when he said that to me, I was like, OK, that's kind of decent evidence because you're not shitting on him necessarily. 
But obviously he was just lying to that person about what he really felt like. You know, he didn't like Cammy. I know that I should have pressed him on this more because I knew for a fact that it wasn't true. He doesn't like Cammy. He never liked Cammy. Well, okay, he might have liked Cammy before, but once I was more aware of who Cammy was, I knew that Cammy was the guy that him and Aiden always pick on and make fun of. And I guess to be fair, it could have been playful. They could have been like doing it like as bros, but I didn't really get the impression that that was what was going on here. I kind of got the impression that he was just some lackey that they just let tag along and then he uh, can just shit on whenever he wants. You know what I mean? That was my impression of John Swan. And I should have pressed him more on that, but I didn't. So I told him that. He gave his counter evidence. I said, whatever. I didn't really believe him, but I gave him somewhat benefit of the doubt that maybe he could be true. I just didn't necessarily buy it. And then to say that he didn't edit the document, he told me again that it was only grammatical errors. He swore to me that it was it was only grammatical errors. Well, obviously, a few days later, that came out to be bullshit, right? And once John was confronted with that, do you know what he said? He said that he genuinely forgot how much he edited the document because when he's in a stressful situation, his brain is known to lock up and forget things that are important. I, there's like 10% of me that maybe could buy into that or, or give it some credence. But the rest, the 90% of me that, that's left is like, that is the most retarded fucking thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, sure, maybe. Maybe that's the case. It's just, it's unbelievable to me. I can't believe that. I mean, what's more likely? This incredible, amazingly bullshit story is actually true? Or the guy that has a problem with compulsive lying, as proven multiple times, is lying to me? Again. The second option is obviously way more believable than the first one, right? Obviously. So, yeah. That's where I'm at with John. John didn't even need to go to Bo Black's for the dream drama. Shaking my head. Yeah, that was just another asshole thing that he totally didn't need to do, you know? So, yeah. All right, let's keep going. This hopefully making it clear that this sort of thing was not okay. Well, John hasn't learned his lesson, because one year later, John would do the exact same thing. It's beautifully stupid. Let's meet the players. John Swan, a YouTube commentator who continues to get involved in 15-year-old's love life. Liz, the 15-year-old asking for advice on a relationship. Cammy, the 18-year-old who was in a relationship with Liz. And haha, yeah, another 15-year-old John put in charge of writing a grooming document against Cammy. On the 17th of April, Easter Sunday- Now- there's a lot of people saying that John hanging out with all these kids is kind of suspect and weird. All right. I think they're being a little bit homophobic. I mean, he is gay after all. That, that's kind of a stereotype, a stereotypical thing to say. So I think we need to lay off that. One day, a document was dropped by the account Haha ha, Yeah, featuring a grooming allegation between Cammy and Liz. It was titled A Message from Liz. And I remember just reading the first few paragraphs and getting some serious whiplash by how quickly the tone changes. I'll make this clear right now. He knows my age. He even asked for my birthday. Now remember, this is a three-year age gap. I don't think most people would think that's predatory, but uh, I'm glad he's checking the age. That's very responsible. He asked me if I turned 16 this year, and I said yeah. Okay, all right, I have a nuclear take, motherfuckers. Are you guys ready for a nuclear take? I was thinking about this earlier today, and I'm, this is, I'm, I'm reminded of the reason why I wanted to go live today, okay? Whether it was on stream or on Twitter, I wanted to say something, all right? I think that the, the, the amount of people, oh, well, fuck, a donation came in, threw me out, whatever. All right, thank you, Tippy. Yo, $3. Dumpy, my favorite pedo, you thank you, thank you. That was a incredibly funny donation thank you all right as i was saying okay i think that the people that demonize three-year distanced relationships including 14 17 all right 15 18 Ooh, we're going there I think people that demonize those relationships so much to the point where they call it creepy are responsible 
for false accusations that happen in the future. I don't even feel like that's that hot of a take. I think that the people that are super morally righteous about that and pretend that it's like a very clear problem when it's really not that big of a deal, I think they're responsible for what happens to people like Cammy a few months later in the future when they do something that's relatively normal and then everybody's jumping on their ass, right? Because before John went on Destiny stream and made a fool out of himself, everybody agreed that Cammy was a vicious, disgusting pedophile who needed to be gassed, okay? That's what people were saying. But then Destiny looked over it, said it was stupid. John danced around on himself on stream, fell over, tripped over himself. And then everybody was like, oh, well, I guess he's not a pedophile. We're wrong, guys. Well, actually, they didn't even say they're wrong. They just immediately started spouting the other opinion. If you don't think that that happened, that absolutely did, okay? So, and the reason why stuff like that happens, luckily for Cammy, Destiny decided to just randomly go over it on a league gaming stream. Because if Destiny decided not to do that, the only other thing that would have happened was maybe me and Nick got a hold of it and did the same thing. But even if that happened, me and Nick would have been 10 times less effective than Destiny was because, well, to be honest with you, we just have less clout, okay? We don't have Destiny's audience of 5,000 viewers. So maybe it would have fallen to me and Nick's hands and we would have made sense of it. But if that didn't happen, this kid would have been fucked for life or he would have had to change his identity. You know? And I think the reason why that was a very real possibility for him is because everyone demonizes the fuck out of relationships that really aren't that big of a deal. So in a way, I think that these people that demonize these relationships, I think that they're responsible for the, uh, they. I think they have a little bit of blood on their hands. I'll be honest with you. I think that they're responsible for the horrible shit that will inevitably happen to people in the future because of their fucking weird, twisted uh, morals that don't make any sense. That's just my opinion, though. I don't know. I don't know if that's too hot of a take or if uh, chat's listening to that and, and freaking out, but that's just my opinion, all right? That's just all I'm saying. Damn, we got almost 1,100 fucking viewers in here. Holy shit. All right, hit the like button. Let's keep going. And hit me up with them donations, dude. Come on, bro. T-E-X-T. Thank you for the membership. Appreciate it. All right. And I'll unmute this. Sorry, I didn't want to talk over your donation, but I also wanted to get that point across. Yes, I was really happy about me and him having birthdays in the same month. After I got happy, he called me cute, which made me flustered. Because I told him I get flustered easily, which made him think that was cute. So the age difference is only three years down to the exact month. Cammy, the older one, is asking all the right questions to make sure this is appropriate. And Liz is happy. So what's the problem? Well, listen to the tone shift in this next paragraph. Cam used me for his own sexual pleasure when I was in a vulnerable state. He knew what he was doing was wrong, comparing his actions to those of people who have been canceled in the community. Oh dear God, yeah, because the YouTube community- That's such a man <laughs> that's such a gross way of manipulating the basic facts, right? <laughs> like, can we go back and look at that sentence there for a second? He knew what he was doing was wrong, Comparing his actions to those of people who have been canceled from the community. No, that's not what happened at all. What Cammy did was verify multiple times that what he was doing wasn't weird to the girl. And at one point he mentioned, he was like, you know, I've been kind of hard on people who've done similar things in the past. Like, I don't know if what I'm doing is wrong or not. Now, it's possible that maybe he's a bit of a hypocrite depending on how hard he went on these people or if he, you know, didn't change his mind at all or something like that, you know, it's it's possible he's a hypocrite or it's possible that he just changed his mind naturally. But maybe there's criticism that can be had there. That really That's not the point. The member. point is, is John is just skewing the fuck out of what happened. He knew what he was doing was wrong and he compared himself to people that he called like pedos. Like, I don't think that's an accurate way of retelling what Cammy did. Wrong, comparing his actions to those of people who have been canceled in the community. Oh dear God, yeah. Cause the YouTube community has an outstanding track record when it comes to this sort of stuff. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. 
Now, this does seem confusing. Luckily, Not Liz did upload screenshots women. of their conversations. And honestly, it just seems like normal high school relationship stuff. With Cammy even asking if she's comfortable with what's happening multiple times. Now, I don't want to show too much because it's embarrassing for anyone, let alone two teenagers, to have this sort of thing leak. But the question is why? Why did Liz feel like she had to make a document? Why did she want to go after Cammy? Well, if you read the title of this video, you probably got a good idea. John Swan, after the documents released, was immediately posting pre-prepared memes about Cammy. One comparing them to J Wait a minute. Christine Hold on, let's, has become a let's look at that meme there for a second. Did he edit cat ears on himself? And what are these other, what is this other photo of himself, you know? Like, what's going on here? I don't know. Eric Quinn, thank you for the five. Dono, ask and receive, miss these streams. Thank you very much. Swan, after the documents released, was immediately posting pre-prepared memes about Cammy, one comparing him to Jeffrey Epstein. Aiden Projects, a 16-year-old, would also leak that John was Virtual hyping up news of the doc, dropping in Discord, book. writing, oh, Fuck, everyone's asleep. This is the most terminally online ill thing I've ever read. Imagine typing on Discord. You realize that all your friends, your only friends in the world who are online, aren't online at that moment. And you're just so lonely that you like gasp in front of everybody. Shit, nobody's here to give me attention, you know? I have the biggest bombshell ever in John the history of bombshells. What is the big bombshell? That two kids flirted? Is that a bombshell? Is flirting with women? Is talking to women, period, a bombshell? Is that something that John thinks is surprising or like unnatural, maybe? Does John think that only that, that men should only talk to other men? Is that what he thinks? Like it, it, when he hears of like heterosexual like situations, like does he like freak out and and, has and get disgusted at the thought of that? I don't know. Then he said, and no one is here to witness it. When someone wakes up, ping me here, please, please. As soon as you wake up, come give me some attention. Fuck, everyone's asleep. I have the biggest bombshell ever in the history of bombshells. Aiden responded, trying to get the intel, and John replied with, I'm telling people directly in- Hara Quinn, Ferry, funded $5.23, Dono. Ask and receive. Missed these streams, heart. Thank you, but that was a really delayed TTS. All right. Involved. You were not directly involved. I've changed my mind, hence the private group chat. So hold on, let me get this straight. John is in a private group chat with a bunch of 15 and 16 year olds planning to release a document about two teenagers sexting on Easter Sunday. That's fucking weird, man. Do you think John jerked off to the sexting? May I remind you, this is the guy who told people to touch grass. Hey, commentary community. I'm outside right now touching some grass. Uh, I think you guys could all take a little bit of a by the way, Lonad used to be friends with this guy IRL, and he told me that when John recorded this video, this was like the first time John had gone outside in like three months, literally. Not even joking. Advice from that. Remember, the internet isn't as serious as you may think it is. You may think a lot of the things hold more weight than they really do. Why is he like preaching? Like, why is he like, let me give you a more, let's gather around, kitties, and let me tell you how the internet works. Like, what are you doing, dude? You sound like you're talking, you sound like you're like talking to a bunch of 12 year olds. Try and get outside. Touch some grass sometime. <laughs> Listen to the way that he's talking. Like, try to get outside and go touch some grass. Like, he's talking like he's fucking royalty. What the fuck up? This document ended up catching the attention of Destiny, who after criticizing it, linked it back to John. And John Swan, being the serial liar that he is, would go on livestream to deny everything. What's up, John Swan? How you doing, my dude? My name was like brought up here like a few times. What's going on? You know what you got? <laughs> Listen to how he introduces himself. You know, it's like he walked into the room like stretching and he's like, ugh. Yeah, I, I heard that uh, some people were talking about me. Like, what's going on? You know, well, what's the deal? Acting as if he doesn't know full well what's happening. That his little, you know, uh, uh, con whatever got exposed, you know. Acting as if he's not fully aware of what's happening. Yo, meta PCs with the $10 touching grass sucks. True! Being totally online is way better. Cents. Touching grass sucks. You know, everybody says being terminally online 
is like terrible or something like that. Why? It's fun to be terminally online. It's fun to be on the internet, you know? Why would I why would I not want to be terminally online? Especially when I can just sit in my room and drink soda all day and and get paid. Why would I why would I want to go outside when I can sit here in my room and get paid to rant on my computer? Like obviously, like being terminally online is awesome. $5. John Swan is wise old grandfather. His wise old grandfather? Yeah, except he's fucking retarded. Gotta respect his commitment to the act. Oh, guys, I got no clue what's going on here. Why is my name even popping up? Were you involved in the creation of a document against Cammy? Um, that's a I yes. Wasn't, <laughs> it was not direct. And then there's Destiny, right? Who's literally like a professional at, at sniffing this shit out. Say what you will about Destiny and his politics or his views or whatever. I mean, he is a good debater and so instantly he recognizes weakness in john's voice and hesitation and he knows what that means right <laughs> oh god this is a bold-faced lie and what better way to get the full story than to interview liz herself my friends i, I told them about camp and they're like this is bad why why aren't you stopping it and I'm bingo i'm vindicated i'm actually vindicated and i'll tell you why okay when i said the way people demonize perfectly fine relationships well maybe not perfectly fine but relationships that aren't you know pedophilic right the way people demonize those leads to people like cammy getting fucked out of his control in a situation that again yeah he can't do anything about right this is proof of it right here because her friends telling her that what she was in was wrong caused her to flip out caused her to go to John, caused John to go insane and be vindictive as fuck, and caused Cammy's life to potentially be ruined. F for my nigga line that put his Jesus. Dick in crazy. Why did it read that? I thought TTS didn't read fucking slurs. Okay, thanks for the three, I guess. Jeez. I'm just like, what do you mean? Yeah, so you kind of were like talked into it because people were telling you that it was like a red flag or whatever. Yeah, basically. So what made you go to John? Um, well, um, uh, I have a personal account where, like, I post about my mood and stuff, so I was kind of feeling down about it because, you know, people kept on telling me about it, and I was just like, is this true? I don't know. So, like, uh, A-Star hit me up in DMs and it's, like, asking me, like, what's going on, whatever. And so I tell him about it. And he's like, did you try telling John Swan or anybody like that? And I was like, no, should I? When you went to John, were you going to him for advice? Yeah, at first, yeah, advice. Here's the amazing advice that John Swan gave her. Okay, there are two ways you can go with this. One, I believe, is a lot better than the other, but they both have upsides and downsides to it. Liz says, all right, and John goes, option one is you stay completely anonymous and you have someone else write a Google Doc on your behalf. Option two is you release something yourself, maybe in conjunction with someone else's document or with your own. What kind of advice is that? How is that the only two options? Okay, kid, you've just been groomed. You got two options. Yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Like, oh, the only two things you can do in this situation is fucking expose yourself. Just fucking put, throw it all out there. Why not? What's the worst thing that can happen, right? I can think of a lot of terrible things that could happen, but, uh, sure. Yeah. Just write a document. I mean, is that the go-to? Is that really what we're supposed to do? Is just to write documents on people? Who reads that shit? I don't, I only ever read Twitter documents about sexual allegations if, uh, it's something I care about, like a situation that I know, like the people that I know in it, like are people that I know personally. Okay. Then I, then I care. Or if it's like a big trending YouTube story and I need to know the information that's relevant, well, then I have to read it for my job. But outside of those two situations, I never read Twitter documents. What does that even do? It lets the whole world know that the other guy's creepy, I guess, until he just fucking changes his identity and fucks off and isn't charged and continues roaming the planet doing terrible things to people, allegedly. You know, like what 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 good what what genuinely good use do Twitter documents have most of the time? Maybe there's some times or some situations where it's relevant, but I don't know, man. I think documents are a scam. 
Option one, you write a document. Option two, you write a document. I could think of a whole spectrum of options that doesn't involve writing a Google Doc and posting it to Twitter. The most obvious one being to tell her parents. There's no way Liz's parental guardians look at this situation and go, you know what? I think the best option here is to take this to Twitter. Bro, this guy said he wasn't involved in the creation of the document when he literally gave her the idea. Were you involved in the creation of a document against Cammy? Um, that's a I yes. Wasn't <laughs> Oh, it was not directly involved. <laughs> oh, no. God. To make matters worse, John would later admit in a call with Cammy that he never even read all the messages before advising Liz to write the doc. I read the document in a call with a few different people, and mm -hmm. there was a few DMs in there that sort of like made like that sort of like broke the narrative apart that you guys are like trying to like paint. So she was comfortable with this like a few days ago, and then she goes and makes a document about it. Okay, I think that's. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I don't it. remember this message you're talking about. It was. Um, I mean, I can try and find an archive. Of I may them. not have. I may not have. To be fair, I did not read all of them. He would go on to tell someone else that he only read about 40% of the messages because he wasn't involved in the creation of the doc. So he had no reason to. So this girl comes to John for advice on a potential grooming situation. She sends him the evidence. He says he'll take a look at it. John comes back later and tells her, This is grim. He's taking. I've read through almost every screenshot, so he just lies to her and how much he's actually invested in the situation, or, or he's lying about only seeing 40% of the screenshots. Taken advantage of you. Honestly, I actually think it's the latter. I think he looked at every screenshot because he's a freak like that. I just think that he lied about only looking at 40% later on. And then he later admits to the guy the document was written on that he didn't look at all the evidence. That is so fucked. I may not have... I may not have, to be fair, I did not read all of them. But it gets worse. Yeah, I don't believe that. You see, John was always a little bit worried that this whole thing could blow back on him. So he gave ownership of the document to his next best man. I'm going to be honest about the, the involvement that I had in this was so extremely minimal. And the reason that it was so minimal is because I didn't want to fuck up something like this again. That's the reason I, I gave, I, I didn't want any involvement. I gave this to other people. The other people, John. Just lying through his fucking teeth, bro. Like, this is just so disgusting. Like, this just really makes me hate the guy, honestly. I don't want to say that I'm there yet, but it's just like, when I hear stuff like this, it's so pathetic and sad just to listen to this guy, you know, constantly get himself in these situations where he's backed into a corner and fucking trying to tippy-toe his way out of something. What a fucking pathetic, like, I can't even say the word. You guys know a word I want to say, but I can't say it, you know? They'll demonetize me gave this to was a 15 year old youtuber named haha -ha yeah i'm 15. did you write the doc haha -ha yeah uh i helped write the document john's like eh, i don't know this situation why do all these people sound like they're drugged when they're in discord calls it's a bit too complicated for me let Except me for john john sounds very <laughs> very energetic when when john's on discord oh he's fucking pumped he's ready to go whether he's you know diabolic uh planning his next fucking scheme to own some 15 year old that called him gay on discord or he's watching gay porn with lieutenant cobra he's he's very excited on discord unlike these other fucking spurgs handed off to a 15 year old i didn't go in and like change things in the middle i didn't help them write it like anything that was significant i did not have any involvement it any edits i made were aesthetic purely john was pretty much caught at this point so he had to backpedal his defense from i didn't help create the doc to i didn't write the doc but the reason that he's backpedaling is because he has like a very poor memory guys like yeah yeah i believe that but as it turns out, he did play a role in writing it. He was just being such a sneaky little weasel, trying to hide it, asking people to remove his name from the dock. Did John ask to be removed from the dock? The Cami dock? Yes. I think the other person asked, and John asked as well. So even the guy, haha, -ha yeah, who fucking literally gunt guards for John Swan. This guy, I know he's like a fan of me or something like that. I think he is. I, I don't really know who he is. Um, I don't know. He's some like 15-year-old furry or something like that, but... This guy just will not, will refuse, refuse to acknowledge John for his just complete, utter, uh, fuck, I can't say the word, it, it just his patheticness. I have to see the PG version. You guys, again, everyone in chat who's an adult knows what I want to say. Um, why won't this guy just admit that and acknowledge that? He gunt guards for John to this fucking day. Why? 
hoping no one would link it back to him. Unfortunately for John, Google Docs saves the names of everybody. Boy, whoever coded this completely unnecessary feature on Google Docs, they're the real MVP of this entire drama. Because just like how Mundane Matt got caught flagging because there was like a little tool that he didn't know about that shows your flag history when you go to it, John didn't know that Google Docs told everybody, exposed you, what you've deleted and what you've added and what you've changed and what you've formatted to a document. So John's fucking muddy tracks are totally there and easy to see. I mean, I didn't know this was a feature. Did you guys know Google Docs did this? Maybe y'all do because y'all use it for school. I don't go to school, okay? I'm a fucking Chad, all right? I get paid to shit on these fucking losers, okay? So, you know, maybe you guys knew this because y'all use it for school. I didn't know this, but holy shit, what an unlucky thing for John that this feature actually existed and just destroyed him. Because otherwise, we would have kind of knew that he was lying, but could never be able to really prove it. We could just say that he's kind of being Weasley, but now we know 100%. It's like, okay, not only do we know you're a liar, which we already thought, but we see exactly what you're doing, which makes it even worse. So we know what you lied about specifically. It's so bad for him. Feature is 100% necessary. Let's the Mr. Teacher know who didn't do anything in the Google Doc group assignment. Yeah, I didn't know they cared though. I thought fucking Google Docs or, or, or sorry, like group assignments for school. I thought if you were the one fucking loser that didn't do anything, um, you just got let off because that's what happened to me when I did that. Do you makes edits so we can see exactly what he wrote. And what do you know? It turns out John did write pretty important parts of the document, rewriting entire paragraphs to make Cammy sound like some sort of horrible predator. Here's Liz's original version of that legendary third paragraph. After this continued, he made jokes and started liking it after I asked him if he did. He continued on and tried asking me if it was okay multiple times. He's aware of my age, by the way, so he kept asking if it was weird or not, and I told him I didn't think it was that weird. I really didn't think much of it. As he continued, he said he was very very hard. You could say he basically told me he was pleasured by what I was saying to him. Here's how John rewrote that. Cam used me for his own sexual pleasure when I was in a vulnerable state. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When did she ever say she was in a vulnerable state? And what about Cam? What does that mean? When she was in a vulnerable state? I'm asking if it was okay. We're just gonna leave. Like, John Swan is literally, I don't know if you guys realize why this is so bad, but John's literally writing like, fan fiction of this guy like raping a girl <laughs> you know what i mean like he's literally crafting some sort of weird narrative that doesn't exist Leave that part so out weird. now. He knew what he was doing was wrong, comparing his actions to those of people who have been canceled in the community. He says how I made him happy. He called me cute. He said I was his darling. He made me feel appreciated and loved. But all he ever wanted was sexual pleasure. He used me to get what he wanted. And see, John's John's such a bitch writing this too, right? Like he's literally saying he's like all he did was use me for sexual pleasure. Like he sounds like a woman. <laughs> you know, like five dollars. Want a one hundred thousand dollars? Let's go, okay. Stop saying slurs, nah. Fam, F money. Yeah, Ralph's a retard. I don't believe that shit for a second. But listen to John, right? Like, look at how he's writing. All he wanted was to use me for sex. All he did was take advantage of me when I was in a vulnerable state. Like, even if you're a man and you're just writing fan fiction, like, how do you come up with these scenarios, you know? Like, this is not the mindset, like, that a man has. Like, a man would never come up with this shit unless they were just really playing, you know, pretend or imagination, you know? Like, this is coming out of a woman, you know? Does John, like, have the mind of a woman? <laughs> I'm ashamed I ever took part in any of it. John changed Liz's statement to make it sound as predatory as possible, leaving out crucial details such as Cammy asking for consent, checking in on Liz to see if she thought it was weird. John also gave instructions on the doc in DMs. I feel like the doc is missing a conclusion, kind of like something holding him accountable. The conclusion of this document is some of the most embarrassing shit I've ever seen. Obviously, the content of these messages are incredibly upsetting and disturbing. At the very least, cringe. Cringe? What are you even saying, my dude? <laughs> what does that mean? At, at the very, they're incredibly disturbing and violent and aggressive and horrifying and traumatic. And they're also a little gay, lol. <laughs> it's like, what are you, what is that even, who, who wrote this, John? Well, we can go check to see for sure, but Jesus. 
<laughs> Hold on. One of those things is not like the others. It is not upsetting. It is not disturbing. But yes, two socially awkward teenagers trying to flirt is cringe. But what is more disturbing is that Cam demonstrated multiple- Yeah, you know what's cringe? <laughs> you know what's cringe? No, oh, wait, never mind. I can't make that joke. Times that he knew what he was doing was wrong. Again, Cammy asking multiple times if Liz enough gay jokes. is okay with it or if that she thinks it's weird at any point is a good thing. I don't know why that's being weaponized against them. But he did it all anyway, setting himself up to continue this pattern of behavior behavior if not called out. What pattern of behavior? He's talking to a girl. You know, normal people have a word for that. It's called dating. Li yeah, yeah. You know what's- okay, uh, fuck it, I'll say it. You know what's cringe? Okay? Finding the concept of talking to a woman, like, <laughs> disturbing and upsetting, right? Because if you think that, you know what that it means, right? Either it means you're gay, or you have severe, like, trauma from women because they fucking stomped on you and fucking owned you and you're, like, afraid of them now. That's, that's what that means, right? I don't know. Liz met this person in a moment of personal weakness in the wake of a relationship that had ended, and Cam moved in to take advantage of Liz while ignoring everything that was so obviously wrong. This doc completely fails to explain what was so obviously wrong. It shows no examples of Liz asking him to stop, or that she's uncomfortable, or that she doesn't want to do it anymore. Even as this document is written, April 17th, 2022, Cam is talking flirtatiously with Liz and calling her cute. Oh shit, we better call the fucking police. There is no room for this kind of behavior from someone who wants to grow a plan Platform in this See, I remember I read this on my channel, and I thought this was the most unhinged, insane shit that I had ever seen. There's no room for this kind of behavior from someone who wants to grow a platform in this community. Why are you- why- it, that sounds like a sales pitch. Except the opposite of one, right? It's like, oh, if you've- it's almost like when they're reading the fine print at the end of an advertisement on TV, right? It's like that fine print at the bottom. It's like, by the way, you should know this before this happens. It's like, what is, why, if he was a disgusting pedophile, why would it matter, you, like, how he grows a, a platform on YouTube? Funded $4 that doesn't make any sense. What I've learned today is John would be better off using his talents to write fanfiction. I mean, not really, his fanfiction sucks. It's, it doesn't even make any sense. His fanfiction is just denying reality community. This is the one part of the document I completely agree with. As commentary channels, we pride ourselves on being incel virgins, so even just talking to a woman should be enough to get you cancelled. Let's bring it back to John Swan. This guy wasn't just involved in the creation of the document. He's the only- I mean, that's my position, right? But I didn't expect John to have the same one, you know? reason it exists. John advised a 15 year old girl to make a document and post it to Twitter without even fully reading the evidence she sent him. I may not have, to be fair, I did not read all of them. John Swan, who wasn't so sure he could handle this thing, then decides to put another 15 year old in charge of writing the document for her. I, I didn't want any involvement. I gave this to other people. I'm 15. Uh, I helped write the document. John then claimed he didn't write any of the doc. His changes were only aesthetic. Like, I didn't write anything. I did not have any involvement. It any edits I made were aesthetic purely. Even though the two paragraphs he played a role in writing are two of the most accusatory of Cammy. But what if I told you this somehow got worse? You see, leading up to the document's release, John seemed really excited to ruin this 18 year old's life. He messaged big YouTubers like Dumpy telling him that Cammy's a groomer. He apparently hyped this up so much that John's friend and fellow 100k YouTuber Dr. Skipper tweeted, anyone want to reserve a seat for the shit show? When the document dropped, Dr. Skipper wrote, happy Easter, adding Cammy. John Swan would tweet memes, one depicting Cammy turning into Jeff Jeffrey Epstein. Can you imagine these big YouTubers you're a fan of getting involved in your relationship life, tweeting about it, hyping up a document calling you a groomer? That's fucking traumatizing. I respect Dumpy a lot here, because when he saw it, he was just like, Nah, I don't respect Dumpy. Huh? But Dr. Skipper, man, what is this? You're tweeting, promoting this bullshit, sending Cammy McDonald's applications? He's being such a pussy too. Instead of apologizing, he tweets, I'm just going to keep making videos and keep my head in the sand. I don't even know what's happening anymore. You knew exactly what was happening. You're only saying that because it started to blow back on John. Tweets. I'm just. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. <laughs> it's funny because like I just imagine his profile picture saying that. Oh my god. That's funny. I I kept asking everybody. I was like, did Doctor Skipper do anything bad? And everybody was like, no, Skipper was he was innocent. He didn't do anything. I mean, I guess he didn't do anything, but he's kind of playing dumb here on something that we all know that he knew about. Maybe he didn't know the details, but yeah, I don't know. Cammy a public
It's kind of like a shifty way to absolve yourself from the situation, right? You're not even doing that. You're just saying like, I'm just going to ignore this and move on. Okay. Apology. This was messed up. John Swan, much like he did with Pie Man a year earlier, would post a series of apologies. When in reality, it's just a bunch of lies and excuses. John, now in a panic, decides to call Cammy, leading to Cammy posting, I talked to John Swan. He and I talked things out and he apologized. I can confirm he's not the puppet master you all think he is, since he's shown me evidence which proves he had very little involvement in the doc. I'd appreciate if you all leave him be. It's not even like an hour later when Cammy updates us. I deleted the tweet because I talked to people beyond the scenes and according to eyewitness accounts i was lied to oh shocker whoa john swan lied cammy you have to be shocked now cammy isn't stupid dude is that tweet still up on connor's twitter account there's something really insane i want to show you guys all right where was it i might have to scroll back for a second e didn't use weird um usually it can be successful though sometimes lucas Funded $1.99. Edating is weird. Where was it? Ah, uh, this might take a minute to find. Oh, we're back in February? I scrolled way past it. Where is it? Probably April. Maybe he deleted. Oh, there it is. Bingo. So look at this, right? John Swan on his super duper private Twitter account. A Twitter account that only follows like maybe like 10, 20 people if I had to guess. I don't know. He tweets out, I genuinely want to fucking end it all. I did not lie to him at any point during our conversation. I've been trying to get in contact with him for the past 40 minutes, but he won't pick up. Why does this shit always happen to me? I feel like the unluckiest man ever. So even in private to like 20 different people, John's still sitting there in total delusion. I'm starting to wonder if John's like a compulsive liar, like he lies to get himself out of situations, or if he lies because he's utterly delusional and like schizophrenic. And he just doesn't know reality. I mean, not that that outcome would make him any better of a person, right? It would just more explain why he thinks the way that he does. He's either hardcore manipulating the 20, is cl the 20 closest people to him. Or he's so delusional that even in private, when he has full reins to just tell the truth and be free, he still clutches to his lie. You know? Like, he seems like an, ins he seems like an insane person. But I don't want to get too armchair with it because that's really cringe. But he almost seems like utterly delusional. Why do we have 1,200 people watching this? Well, welcome aboard, I guess. Tweet out the stream. Ben Cammy did record John Swan's apology and he leaked it. In the one hour and 25 minute call, John does say I'm sorry, but he is always quick to shift the blame to Liz, making himself out to be the victim. I feel really fucking terribly about it, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, short of just telling her to fuck off, I'm not sure what. I would have done different. Okay, I gotta expose John. Hold on. Tippy I'll let the donation dollars. play. Imagine if it was all a sip and John just got kneeled on. It was all a psyop and John got kneeled on? Yeah, but we we know that he's responsible for bad shit, so either way, he still got kneeled on, like, rightfully so. It's not like he got tricked into lying. Maybe he did, I don't know. That's going a little bit too deep. Okay, I gotta expose John here. All right? Um, let me roll this back here for a second. About it, but at the same oh, fuck, there's no donation. All right, thank you. Thank you guys, though. Salvo uh, Pancakes Salvo. funded $3. Flamenco currently sitting balls deep on a dildo with his penis in a cage and a belt around his neck and plastic bag tied around his head. Yeah, I saw you. Salvo had a good take. If you guys don't know, Flamenco was just banned off of uh, Twitter. And Salvo wanted to offer his condolences. In a minute, I'ma need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. Feeling fussy, walking in my <laughs> so retarded. Um, but yeah. All right, let me play this out. Time, I don't know. Like, short of just telling her to fuck off, I'm not sure what I would have done differently. 
Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've... Okay, so John is acting like he had to do something once somebody came to his DMs and exposed a potential grooming situation. John felt the moral responsibility to do something about it. All right? Listen, folks, I know there's situations that have been sent to John that he didn't do anything about because they were fucking retarded. It's not like John is incapable of, you know, looking at a situation and analyzing in his head whether or not it's worth getting invested into and involved with versus just discarding it and, oh, somebody else can cover that or whatever. I don't really think this is that big of a deal. He's done this before, guys. So even here he's lying. Because he's saying that, oh, um, you know, I, I felt like I had to do something for the girl. I couldn't just tell her to fuck off. Why not? It's not like it's not like you have to do anything. This random girl that you have no, at least I think that you have no like emotional connection to or attachment to. There's just some random retard on the internet. Why do you have to help her? You don't have to. Right? I've, I feel really fucking... I don't know how to describe this or put it into words. I feel like... I don't know why she just, like... You feel lied to. Very much so. Look at him, like, try and and express emotion here. I don't want to fucking victim blame though. I don't want to be like Yeah, that's one thing that <sighs> I that's one thing that I don't want to do either. It's really difficult, man. I don't want to come out and say it's all her fucking fault because it's I we do have some level of 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 accountability on our shoulders, but mm -hmm. fuck me, man. She really had it like she had had us on a fucking wild goose chase with this shit. Like, from the very fucking beginning. John is just straight up lying to Cammy. At this point, we all know Liz didn't come to that decision on her own. She did come to the decision on her own. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, th this was when she wanted to go public. John claims Liz came to this decision on her own. While the DMs he's currently showing is him clearly convincing her that she was groomed. Thanks so much, Liz. I'll take a look at these later. Referring to the messages between Liz and Cammy. Hey, Liz, I read through pretty much every screenshot. Which is weird, because later in the same call, John tells Cammy that he didn't read all the messages. I'm Do you know what John was supposed to be doing around this time, by the way, guys? Do you know what he was supposed to be doing? Making his creep show art video. But instead of doing that, he was reading... Uh, sexual messages with kids. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like the video should take priority over that, but you know, I don't know. I don't know if the video is still coming out, by the way. He's shown me some of it before. To be fair, it did kind of look like a hype video. I mean, John is still objectively good at making videos, but the thing is, is like, who's going to want to watch that? Even if the video is good, it's like, well, Jay Aubrey also makes good edited videos. It's not like John's the only guy that makes the type of content that he does. Nick kind of makes it too, you know? Turkey Tom, you could say. They're similar. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I may not have, I may not have, to be fair, I did not read all of them. Again, he told somebody else that he only read about 40% of them. So I don't know, maybe he's lying again. I've read through pretty much every screenshot. Really grim stuff. Really? I thought so. I mean, dude, that's you telling her that she was groomed. How does he deny this? What's your goal with this then? I heard you want to go public? I want to, I just don't want to lose Ken. It's like I don't know why I'm so attached. I have major attachment issues and terrible mental health. The attachment with Cam is him taking advantage of you. I read the screenshots. He so he's just grooming the girl basically into believing that she was ironically groomed by Cam, basically, right? <laughs> is that too much of an age joke to make? Okay, when I say grooming the girl, I mean he was like mentally like fucking, he was, he was feeding her these ideas that weren't really true, you know? He initiated everything first. Only John could write that and then later try to blame this whole thing on Liz. Cammy then suggests that John should post a public apology for how he handled things. And John just ignores him. Dude, after the dream shit, everyone wants a reason to fucking ruin me. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter whether I was involved or not. They'll want any fucking reason and they'll run with it regardless of what it is. Like, <sighs> yeah, maybe gaslighting is the better word. 
I really did my best and I still fucked it up. So I don't know. But yeah, people will just run with whatever. Like it is, it is, it's just completely fucked. Maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe like apologizing to me publicly could be something you could do, but I don't, I don't really know how much that would like, like flip public. I, I, don't really, um, I don't really imagine like you care that much. No, no, no. I, I do care. I, it's why I, 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 it's why I called you. Obviously, yeah. I do care. Mm -hmm. um, I care. Like, I care very much because I basically started off this thing and I was lied to, essentially. No, you weren't. I was lied to, guys. I was lied to. I have no control. I have no ability to process information. I was just fucking lied to and I just believed it. Shit. Dude, I. Also, the irony of John saying I was lied to. <laughs> it's like, all right, dude. That's a sound clip right there. I don't know how John keeps saying that. It becomes psychopathic at a certain point. John then tells Cammy to post a tweet saying that John apologized and that they worked things out, even though all John did was blame Liz. You don't have to do this. Um, you can, I, I don't want to like fucking pressure you to doing that, but maybe would you be okay with like saying that we kind of spoke and talked things out? Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Real quick, I want to recap one last time just so John's involvement in all of this is perfectly clear. Liz entered a relationship with Cammy that had full consent from both sides. Liz told her friends about it, who convinced her that Cammy must be grooming her. I've had people around me be like, hey, it's bad. And I'm like, are you sure it is? And they're like, yes. A-Star then told Liz to go to John for advice. <laughs> Why is A-Star in involved in this? Like, what the fuck? When she did, she provided John with all of the evidence, which John said he read, but would later tell Cammy he didn't. John then tells Liz that her messages with Cammy is really grim stuff, and that Cam was taking advantage of her. He tells Liz she has two options, both of which involve writing a document and posting it to Twitter. John messages other YouTubers telling them that Cammy's a groomer. He makes memes comparing Cammy to Epstein. When the document drops, people start reading the same evidence Liz provided John, and quickly realized that this is not grooming. In fact, there is nothing wrong with any part of the messages sent, yet the document frames Cammy as a predator who needs to be held accountable. John then quickly deletes his tweets, now claiming that he had nothing to do with the creation of the document. Cuba Were you involved? Farms funded $2. John Swan is the male version of Amber Heard. Nice. All in the creation of a document against Cammy. Um... That's a I yes. Wasn't <laughs> Oh, it was not directly involved. In <laughs> oh, God. No. Even though he told Liz that was her only option, and then he put the other 15-year-old in charge to help write it. I'm 15. Once John was caught lying about this, he quickly changed his story to, okay, I was involved in creating the document, but I didn't write any of the document. The only changes I made were aesthetic. Any edits I made were aesthetic purely. It was nothing meat and potatoes. Okay. That's what I mean. Dude, Tipster was fucking brutal to John. Can we just talk about that? Dude, Tipster was sitting on John's neck and there was just no oxygen there, right? Like, if you've ever listened to that Tipster call, it's like the best content Tipster's made in like five years. It's it's so fucking good. I don't know why he went so ham. I, I guess Tipster just like absorbed, like his skin absorbed all of the negative energy between me and Nick's evil harassment. And instead of killing himself like Pragmatic Leftist said he would, he just like deflected it all into John and just shat on him. I mean, when I say I didn't write a word of it, because I, I, I really didn't, like, I didn't write anything. It's then discovered that John was rewriting entire paragraphs to make them sound way worse than initially stated, even giving specific instructions stating that the conclusion of the doc should hold Cammy accountable. John, now being caught at every lie, every corner, then decides to jump in a call with Cammy, and even though he does apologize, he mostly pushes the blame on Liz, saying she lied to him when she didn't. I was lied to, essentially. He then convinces Cammy to post a bullshit tweet saying John apologized when really all he did was shift the blame, saying John wasn't involved in the creation of the doc. See, John wasn't just involved in writing the doc. He is the doc. It's so screwed up. How do you not feel for Cammy? It's bad enough to have your messages leak online like that, but to then have some of your favorite YouTubers talk about it, tweet about it, create a document calling you a groomer? It's not just the lying that's the problem with John. He's proven to be downright malicious. So bye. Hi, man. Yes, the 15 year old John tried to. Dude, John's not even like a good liar. Like, this is the second time he's been busted for the same thing in about what the span of 18 months. Jesus, what an awful track record. Pit is a pedophile. One year, especially in a community where if you do this once, you're you're like just completely owned. He did it twice. Actually, like three times.
because like he did it to Harley. Well, he trolled Harley and lied about that. And then he fucked over Pie Man and Cammy. Ago. If you remember, John supposedly apologized to Pie Man, which Pie Man claims wasn't much of an apology at all. Well, as it turns out, John has held this against Pie Man and has been plotting his downfall for most of last year. Here's some of the leaked calls. It doesn't matter to these people. They'll just keep on going. Oh, Honestly, it's just cringe. Anyway, if Pie Man wants to continue saying that I never apologized to him, then I might need to do a nuclear thing, a nuclear moment, but I don't want to. I don't want to have to get nuclear, but if, it, if the opportunity requires it, I will. It looks incredibly bad for him, incredibly good for me. There is uh, there is almost no framing that that looks bad for me, that call. It is he sounds like such a little fucking tard <laughs> in this call. Uh, I might have to go nuclear. He's like planning it with his like children in the call that are just sitting there like, oh shit, oh no. It is It is... It's pretty bad for Pie Man. We oh, it's pretty bad for Pie Man. You know, I used to goof on uh, Primic, and I love Primic, by the way, but I used to goof on him because he would say stuff like John would be studying to be a dictator like Hitler because he had Mein Kampf in his room or something. He had, like, a copy of the book. But given how he sounds in some of these calls, maybe it's not that far out there of a theory. I don't know. Like, he's trying to sound like an authoritative, like, asshole. We can listen to it later, the full thing, but I no, feel like you- All right, excuse me. What the fuck is going on outside? Do you guys hear that? Jesus. I have my window closed, but I just heard like cancer going on outside. Okay. I, I think it's gone. It was just like a carb that was really fucking loud. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if you guys heard that, but that was so loud, but it's gone now. Okay. If you want to, if we want to do this, there's only one way. You create a, a new Twitter account with a number that none of you have registered. So we get someone else to make a, a Google voice number or something. And then we, we leak it through that. So it has no ties to literally anyone. Um, and then we leave it for like ages. And then all of a sudden people start retweeting it out of nowhere. Um, Over. Because you could just say you found it through like Twitter search Over. or something. And that's is that Aiden's voice in the call? The that's probably the best way for you to do it, at least the way I thought about it. So John Swan, the known liar, is planning yet another lie to try and get back at Pie Man. As for the apology itself, I have no clue why you would want to leak something that makes him look so bad. Just like the call with Cammy, John does apologize, but instead of just owning up, he preaches. At oh, the audio is from Bunk Stream that Aiden was on. Oh yeah, because he has to use Bunk Stream because Jayco is such a fucking loser that Jayco Jayco told Bunk to delete the uh, standalone versions of the John Swan audio because Jayco wanted to use that for his video. Because he wanted that to be an exclusive drop on his video, even though everybody's already heard the audio on Bunk Stream. Like, what the fuck? That pie, man. There's one thing, though, I still don't understand why you sent that message, and you don't have to tell me, and you don't have to say anything about that. I keep on running through scenarios in my head about that message and i just i don't know why you sent that but i don't know man i still, I still, I still that was still a fucking strange message man and i think a lot of us can say that was fucking strange and then the uh okay so with the twitter stuff i did clarify okay i will say this because the tweets are gone now um but i do remember writing a tweet that specifically said like clarified in clear plain english bunk is a cuck for deleting it i 100 percent agree and it got maybe 20 likes or something that i i you were not a pedophile i don't know if you remember that at all but i i did say that no no i think i think i remember it okay um, well that's good yeah. that's good yes um so that's one thing that didn't make it in your video, which I would have liked to see, but obviously you didn't have so yeah, much I, of it. I, so I, I, I should have put it in there. I, I guess in my mind, I thought um, you were, you know, sort of speaking out of both sides of your mouth, you know, saying I'm not a pedo and like I believed you were uh, sort of insinuating it in other tweets. Get fucking wrecked. I heard from people that you, well, I know that you never really took a proper break from social media because you were still liking my tweets. Because I saw the notifications for them, and then you unlike them later. 
<laughs> okay. I caught you in 4K. Like in the tweets. Haha, <laughs> I caught you, little shit. I exposed you. You weren't it. You didn't actually leave the internet. Hey, guys. Do y'all think John left the internet, like, recently? Like, since this drama blew up? Because if you notice, he hasn't tweeted. He hasn't been online on Discord, and he hasn't posted videos or gone live or streamed. So clearly, he must be offline and touching grass or dead. I don't know. Like, he's clearly not online. No. He is online. Okay? I won't tell you how exactly I know that, because it doesn't matter anyway. But yeah, he's online. He's pretending, just like he's accusing Pi Men of here. A number of times <laughs> while you were supposed to be on break. You really got him, John. Great job, dude. Here's the thing. It's not just Pi Man John's out to get. It's anyone who calls him out. He's messaging people. All these guys just have vendettas against me. Jayco hates me because he betrayed my trust. Aiden has a grudge against me because he leaked one of Augie's things one time. That doesn't even make any sense. It's like, bro, if you want people to stop calling you out, stop doing shade. Well, to be fair to John, I know what he's saying. It sounds schizo to Willie because Willie doesn't know what the fuck John's talking about. But basically, me and Aiden got into an argument where Aiden leaked one of my DMs just to like be an asshole to me. And I said that that was fucked up, right? So after that happened, because this all happened while we were both in a call with John Swan, John Swan deleted all of his DMs with Aiden. And then Aiden got mad at that to John. He was like, what the fuck, dude? We're like really good friends. Why would you delete all my DMs? And then John was like, we're still friends. We can still talk, but I don't trust you not to leak one of my DMs like you did to Augie. Which, to be honest, as much as Aiden will argue this, I, de I definitely think that that's a fair thing for John to say. Maybe a little bit ironic coming from him, but regardless, I think that that's fair. And so what basically John is saying is ever since then, Aiden took offense to that, right? Aiden did not like that at all. And that's 100% true. Um, so what John's saying is because Aiden didn't like him for doing that, Aiden might have a vendetta against him. That's what John's saying. Now it's wrong. Aiden called him out just because he thought it was the right thing to do. But John's saying that there might be a vendetta there, which honestly, even if there is, I don't really care. As far as I know, Aiden didn't lie about, um, um, anything that he said about John. I don't think Aiden would... I don't think the way that Aiden handled the story was bad. So, yeah. Also, Cammy says, John has an alternate Discord called Austin Boyd number 6686. That is number 6686. So if you guys want to run that through something, see if uh, he's active. I, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just, I don't know. It's coming from Cammy, so maybe it's true. I don't really know. But, yeah. Discord doxing, good one, dude. Shady ass shit. How do I wrap up a video like this? I guess if I were to give John any advice, it would be the same thing I told him one year ago. How about you stop fucking with kids? Be a goddamn adult. Like, dude, what is some of the stuff I'm hearing? You just spent all day in Discord talking to 15 year olds? John definitely talked to like a disproportionate of kids. I'm not saying he's like a Peter, right? But I think at the beginning, it was more like. I think it was like mainly 15 year olds. I can't think of a more sad and loser thing to do. Yeah! Mm. Watching porn in Discord to try and impress a bunch of teenagers. He's gotta be huge. He's gotta be huge. He's got no, yeah, he is. Has to, right? Right. Oh, oh, oh God, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know the meme of like. <laughs> you know, like the meme, like SpongeBob and Squidward looking down. Dude, this is them looking at fucking gay porn. <laughs> Give me the fucking image. Come on. This is literally them just looking at it. Hold on, let me roll it back. Try and impress a bunch of teenagers. He's gotta be huge. He's gotta be huge. He's got no, yeah, he is. Has to, right? Oh, oh, god, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, excuse me. Will the blowjob blow so I can leave? Whoa, it looks man. big. It looks massive. Yeah. Why are you doing this? It's looking like two hands. Oh, it is a two-hander. Oh, right. It's fucking eight, nine inches, that. Oh, fuck. It's massive! It's a large, large... <laughs> That's not even fully erect. On that note, I want to thank Aiden Project... Ah... <sighs> and Jayco for busting this story wide open. Bonk for archiving all the calls. I couldn't all have right. Roll that back. done this without... <laughs>
That's not even fully erect. On that note, what? Never mind. I want to thank Aiden Projects and Jayco for. All right, Aiden Shore. Yeah, Aiden deserves credit. No. Busting this story wide open. Bonk for archiving all the calls. I couldn't have done this without him. Anonymity, he really is this channel's secret weapon. And it turns out he makes great videos too. And of course, Mike the Bike for some of the parody music used here today. All right, John Swan, sing us out. Just keep on talking like Byline Cause I don't wanna say goodbye Close your eyes and keep on talking like You know, the topic of John Swan came up a little bit at VidCon last year, right? And it was very funny to me, right? Because everybody's views of John Swan privately is pretty much the same as their views publicly, right? Like, there's nobody that's really, like, private friends with John Swan where you're, like, surprised about it. Everybody at VidCon just thought he was, like, some cringy loser who maybe could have potential but is just totally focused in the wrong area. And uh, it was just funny to me how, like, everybody, because I talked to it with a few different people while I was there, and everybody was like, yeah, John Swan, like, he was almost like a joke to these people, you know? Ah, oh, sad. 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 This is a really fucking extraordinarily brutal video by Willie Mack. I don't know why he went so damn hard, but uh, I'm glad that he did. It was, uh, it was a pretty good video. I'm not, not even going to lie. It was pretty good.